Hi all. Today, in this tutorial video, I'll be demonstrating to you how to add a default value to a field in Odo. So let's get into it. For the demonstration purpose, I'll be using one of my custom model that is Odo underscore tutorial. And let's see, uh, and we'll pass a default value for the tutorial date to it. So for passing a default value, we just need to add the attribute default is equal to, let's see, I need to pass today's date. So for that, I'll be using the date module and I'll be using the today function. So this is how we add a default value to, for a field. So in order to add a default value, we just need to add the attribute default and the value which will be passed to it. So for using the date, we just need to from date time import date. So now if I restart the service, if I go to the form view and if I let's say refresh the screen, we can see that the default date is passed to the tutorial date field. So this is how we pass a default value into a custom field. Similarly, it's not just a uh, basic static value. We can use lambda functions into it. So I'll just show an example. Let's see if I pass default is equal to, let's say I'm searching for a lambda function. So um, for a simple one, I'll just use this one. So here, as you can see, there's a user ID field, which is a mini to one relation for the rest dot users. And inside that, you can see that it's a default value is passed to it, which is a lambda function. So default lambda self and the value is self dot env dot user. So this user ID field will have a default value, which is a current logged in user. So this is how we pass a default value into the fields in auto. I hope you have understood the video. Thank you.